go get it go get this right now just because a product is viral doesn't mean it's suitable for everyone you know what i hate spending money on things that i will never use again and you know what i love korean skincare oh my goodness aren't the aesthetics just like aestheticizing hello guys welcome or welcome back to boss girlified it is your girl tima we have um convened again another review video but in this video i'm not going to be doing the tier list she's not here she has driven past she has gone just because i think it makes more sense to do a rating system for this video why you may ask because in this video we are going to be reviewing korean skincare let me just fix my hair real quick <laughs> but i think it makes more sense for this video if i were to just do rating korean skincare because i only bought like one of each type of product except for the eye cream which you guys are gonna see but i recently switched up my entire skincare routine to korean skincare and in this video, we're gonna get into it because you guys have been telling me all types of good things and good things only about Korean skincare. On the internet, everywhere, I have been seeing great things about Korean skincare. There are so many viral Korean skincare products right now that like a lot of us in the States and other places in the West are starting to catch on to. Best believe I caught on too. And I got some of the most viral Korean skincare products and made it my new routine for this past week week and a half so we're gonna have a five star rating so obviously five stars is just <sighs> inspirational four stars is good three stars is decent <laughs> decent two stars is really and one star is no mamas i know the question a lot of you guys are waiting for oh my gosh since my last freaking video the bron the, the bronzy drops that i did not like for me personally i said i was gonna give it to one of you guys and i'm going to still i just wanted to be fair and at the end of the video that way we don't waste too much time here i'm going to just randomly select one of you guys from my following list i am like talented humble who i make jewelry and clothes girl yes you heard me right i make jewelry and clothes all the links will be in the bio down below along with all my socials where you can find me there every single product i bought basically is on yes style or can be found on yes style that's where i bought a majority of the stuff so i will have the link if i can find them to every single one of these products in this video um in the bio down below let's go ahead and get straight into the video but the first item i want to talk about is this lemon sheet mask i got this lemon sheet mask Maybe it's because I got lemon. I don't, I don't, I really don't know why I got lemon. Honestly, guys, things have been really chaotic for me lately. I'm taking my final semester of classes. Like things are just, <sighs> I'm in overdrive right now. It was really moisturizing, I will say, but it just wasn't my favorite thing in the world. But I'm sure there are other sheet masks that are Korean that would probably work phenomenally. I am interested in the Co Coser X stop i am interested in that one <laughs> so i do want to try it out because i've i love for, i'm getting ahead of myself i've heard great things about the brands so i do want to try their sheet mask because i heard it's also amazing and based on what i've experienced already i don't doubt it however maybe a part two is coming soon where i try a lot more korean skincare and also might i just add a lot of the skincare stuff that i really wanted was out of stock <laughs> sheet mask i'm gonna have to give that a two out of five stars <laughs> and that's not personal to the brand or anything like that it's just i don't think it did too much for my skin anyways but i like sheet masks in general so that's why i gave it two stars because you can never really go wrong with a sheet mask especially if it has serum it's gonna hydrate your skin and absorb the product very well into your skin so hey can't complain all right the next item i want to talk about are the Coserex 
I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put the product on the screen. <laughs> these pimple patches. These were pretty good, but I will say they are only for like specific types of pimples. I would say mainly like cystic type of pimples. I don't know if I'm using the correct term. Okay, I don't know everything. All right, I'm trying here, okay? They do work for a specific type of pimple, which happen to be pimples that I don't really get that often. And it's also best when the pimple is already like ready to go and ready to like get the gunk out. It's definitely not super universal and I think it's a good thing to have in your skincare collection just in general. Does it have to be um, this specific brand? Maybe, but I do like it a lot. I like it a lot more than some of these other pimple patches that I've tried because a lot of them, let's be real, they're for the aesthetics, okay? They are for the aesthetics. But this I did really like. So I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five just because I wish it worked on blackheads and whiteheads as well because girl, if that was the case, five stars all around. So I'm gonna start with the, I think this is Beauty of Joseon Cleansing Balm. Now, this I did use wrong and I actually have footage for you guys. By the way guys, I've, I see your comments and I get it, like you guys would like to see me applying it, but I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot of extra, extra stuff I had to figure out. So, but I did uh, uh, manage to get some footage of me using this balm. What I typically do, outside of Korean skincare when I'm just doing my regular skincare is I use micellar water and like a either a baby wipe and or cotton pad, cotton rounds. That is not my favorite way to remove my makeup but it is the way that works the best um, and it definitely is drying for me because I am a dry sensitive girl with textured skin if I'm not careful so um, that's not the most ideal method. So as you guys will see on the first night I got these products I still didn't really know how to use them so I still went ahead and removed my makeup the same exact way I usually do and then followed up with this cleansing balm. Now I will say that this cleansing balm, first of all, a little bit goes a long way. I used entirely too much. Second of all, it comes with a little scoopy thingy. Uh, it didn't really work that well for me. I liked to just go in for it with the back of my nail and put it on my face as so, but a little bit goes a really freaking long way. Oh my goodness. And basically I heard that you're supposed to put the cleanser on or rub it on your face and then get it a little bit milky with a little bit of water. So that's what I did. My skin was so soft, but not stripped, which is rare. <laughs> Ooh, okay, sun, come through. Just came gleaming on me. I love filming in natural light. It cleanses very well. The second night I used it, I was like, okay, since it cleans this well, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to use it as a cleansing balm to remove my makeup. I'm gonna, instead of taking off my makeup first and then cleansing and then all of that other extra stuff that I did, I'm just going to use the cleansing balm first, rub it in and see how well it is at removing my makeup. As you guys can see, I have a full beat. So we're gonna be able to see if this cleansing balm is really good for that. Okay, so the cleansing balm basically took off all my makeup, like dissolved all my makeup. I will say it took a little bit, a little while for my makeup to dissolve, like I really had to rub it in, but it seems like it almost fully dissolved my makeup. I feel like it's a little bit quicker with a makeup wipe or like with cotton pads, but I heard that cleansing balms when you remove your makeup are supposed to be a lot better. So when I go in the shower, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my hands rub it around make it a little bit milky because i heard that that helps remove it a little bit better or like remove all dirt residue and everything like that it, it activates the balm so i'm gonna do that wash it off and i'll see you guys when i hop out the shower as you guys can tell that removed all of my makeup i was not expecting it at all i don't want to say i didn't have high expectations but i just didn't think it was gonna clean my skin clean my makeup off thoroughly because I had a full beat, okay? I was like, there is no way this itty bitty tiny little bit of cleansing balm will take off my makeup. Girl, it did, <laughs> it did. And as you guys will see in this clip, I decided to just hop in the shower and just rinse it off along with my body. And you guys, it cleaned my makeup off of the skin. Like there was not a single bit, you will see in my skin visibly, there is no makeup on my face, crazy. 
So this is definitely getting five out of five stars. I didn't even, I, the re, okay. <laughs> the reason I had to think about it is because I was like, is there something that realistically I don't like about it? First of all, I'm sensitive. Is it sensitive approved? Absolutely. There's not too many fragrances in it. There's not any fragrance in it, to be honest. And I live in Arizona, so I was also a little bit worried about it melting, I guess, um, because I expected it to be like oil based. I'm not sure what it's, I'm pretty sure it's oil based, but I expected it to like melt really easily because I live in Arizona. And even right now, my AC is off right now. It's probably like a hundred and something degrees outside and this thing has not melted. So extra bonus points. I'm a dry girl. It's dry girl approved because my skin was not stripped at all, especially given my skin, like my skin. As soon as the water is has fully evaporated, my skin instantly goes into dry mode. This did not do that, so instantly approved. Double points for that. When I use this cleansing balm prior to applying all of the following skincare, it makes such a difference. I've tried just using another cleanser that I got, which we will get into next, and then following it up with the other products, and it still worked phenomenally with all the other products, but adding this to it just allows the products to absorb so much better into your skin. Anyways, five stars out of five stars. The next product that I wanna talk about is, you know what, hold on, hold on, cause I got a bone to pick with this one. Let's, let's get into this one first. I was really excited to try this. I already rated this or reviewed it in another video, but just in case you guys didn't see that one, I decided to include it here. It's Korean skincare anyways. It's Cosurex, the same brand that, um, everyone's been raving over the same brand as the pimple patches i was so gassed up to buy this because i saw so many positive reviews on tiktok one of these super viral videos was literally what made me go and buy this but it just wasn't all of that it's definitely a little bit harsh for me as a dry girl and it could also be that it's a gel cleanser i, I will give it that but if you are a dry sensitive girl i would recommend going for something that is a foam cleanser not something like this because it's probably gonna be a little bit too harsh for you if you're like me, sensitive and dry skin. But I'm sure if you have like maybe oily skin or maybe combination skin, it might work very, very well. But for me, I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars. Next item I tried is the All Clean Green Foam. Now, green foam, foam cleansers are super viral and I see why. And I love this one that I got here from All Clean um, or Heimish, I don't, I'm not sure which one is the brand, but it is a pH balancing facial cleanser. Mild clean effect, low acid for sensitive skin. Now, the thing that I love about Korean skincare so far is that a lot of it seems to be catered to sensitive skin, which is so important to me because I have so such sensitive skin. And I've noticed that with a lot of American products or just a lot of products in general, they tend to be very, very harsh, very, very harsh. I cannot use 90% of drugstore products even ponds i'm too sensitive for ponds i'm too sensitive for ponds so a lot of things i can't use it could just be just in general just because it's for my specific type of skin tone or skin type which is a very important thing when you're thinking about skincare is not the virality of it not how popular it is but if it will work for your specific skin type because if you're using things that are catered for you you will have a great outcome either way so this for me specifically i would give it a five out of five stars for sure but just in general just korean skincare and the fact that like they cater to sensitive skin which is so it is so hard to find genuine pr products that are genuinely made for people with extremely sensitive skin i grew up with eczema um asthma and allergies which go hand in hand i know it doesn't seem like it, that's relevant but trust me i'm allergic to a lot of different things so i appreciate korean skincare for like most of their products catering to sensitive skin five out of five stars i wanted to get i think it's the aurora or aura um toner girl the minute i get my hands on that we're coming back for a part two. For now, I tried the rice toner from I'm From. I'm From is also a very popular Korean skincare brand. And guys, okay, if you know me, you know from one of my previous videos that I make a rice mask. And that thing is my holy grail to this day. Like I'm working, I'm still working on a video, don't worry guys, I'm working on a video where I do 
DIY skincare. I know a lot of people are kind of like dense sometimes about <laughs> DIY skincare. Trust me guys, I'm a sensitive girl, okay? Um, I'm not gonna put certain things on my skin. I do enough research before I put anything on my skin and not everything that's DIY is automatically horrible. Um, I think a lot of people sometimes hear DIY and they're like, no, don't use it on your skin. But honestly and truly, a lot of things that I've made myself work so much better than anything I've ever bought and they're basically the same ingredients. It's crazy. So when I saw that this was rice, I was immediately hyped up. I am a little bit skeptical though when it comes to products and real items in them. So like for example, a lot of products that I buy, they will say made from rice or with rice or rice toner um, or rice this, rice that. A lot of things about the product make me question if it's actually what they're saying is in it. But this, immediately upon smelling it, upon feeling the texture, upon having to shake it, I knew it was real rice. And that is like, yes absolutely it's very hydrating immediately i will say though i will say though because i have been using the glow recipe toner for a very very long time i think the glow recipe toner is just a little bit more hydrating but i think this is a little bit more catered to sensitive skin so that's why i give this a five out of five that's why i give this a five out of five and honestly it might replace that permanently the um glow recipe toner because that is a little bit harsh for me especially considered this uh, smell but the reason why I love the glow recipe toner so much is because it works so well this doesn't hydrate my skin as much but it is still very very hydrating and it's perfect for my skin type so yes five out of five next up we have the very 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 viral um, Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Coast, Coast Rex. Guys, please, damn it, leave me alone, I'm trying. Well, this nail essence is a cult favorite. It's amazing for nourishing the skin and it's known to give a glass skin glow. However, you could get a reaction from it if you are allergic to dust mites or snails. Now this, I freaking love it. Um, I included this also in my other video, um, my other tier list video, but a lot of you guys didn't see that but i did try this i have been trying this i've been using this for almost a year now actually yes like about a year now girl a staple i have went through like four bottles of these at this point <laughs> but it's okay because this thing is absolutely worth it my skin is not the same like that's all i can say that's all i can really say about it my skin is just not the same anymore it like slurps up every ounce of product on your skin and absorbs it into your skin and holds it there like that is the best way i can describe what this does so obviously like 50 million out of five stars yes next up we have the beauty of joson glow serum propolis plus niacinamide now this thing right here like out of all of the things i've bought even though like i love the snail muse and essence as well like that's definitely up there this little baby right here is like and i mean this wholeheartedly and i'm thinking about it before i say it too because i don't want y'all to think i'm bsing because i'm i'm never bsing I don't, I don't have any problem saying okay this is one of my favorite skincare products i have ever bought and i'm saying one of just to be generous and fair because who knows you know there might be another product that comes along and replaces this i do wish it was a little bit bigger um because i'm gonna go through this very very quick i know i am because i am literally obsessed with this i don't know if you're supposed to apply this under makeup nor do i care but i i apply this like three to four times a day because Okay, guys, I know that sounds a little excessive, but I go to the gym, I make content, I do my makeup, so I need to like freshen up, change my makeup, maybe I'll have like a light no makeup makeup look and then I'll change to like full makeup makeup look. You guys, I've been using this under my makeup and if you are obsessed with the Glow Recipe Dew Drops or the Glow Recipe whatever, this is the Glow Recipe Dew Drops, but moisturizing and for sensitive skin. Like what more could I ask for? What more could a girl want? Five, 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 five out of five stars. Five out of five stars. 
I'm getting like love aggression right now with this product. Let's go ahead and get into the moisturizer I chose for this video. Unfortunately, again, the moisturizer that I really wanted was out of stock, but as soon as it's in stock, <laughs> and I'm like a hawk, I'm like an eagle. I'm, I'm, I'm on the prowl, okay? Um, and I'm not buying it from Amazon because I'm not paying an extra $10. So the next product I wanna talk about is the Innisfree Dew Glow Jelly Cream. I really wanted to get this other moisturizer because it's super viral and I've already talked about this, but unfortunately I couldn't find it and it was out of stock basically everywhere, but I will make a part two and include that in there when, I, when it comes. But anyways, this is definitely a holy grail. I love this moisturizer. It is very dewy. It is very, very dewy and very hydrating. And it sits so well on top of the other products. It doesn't like sit on the skin. It like blends in with all of the previous products and just leaves your skin, like it absorbs into your skin. Instead of just residing on top of it, making it look dewy, it actually makes your skin dewy. So yeah, I have nothing to complain about this. There is a little bit of a scent in comparison to the other types of um, skincare products. I also do notice that it is a little bit harsh for me because of the smell, like even just like me reaching into smell, like my nose was kind of like, whoa, what was that? But you know, there are definitely other products like the Glow Recipe items that are a lot more smell good than this. This isn't necessarily a smell good. It just definitely has that like producty smell, if you know what I mean. So because of that, I'm gonna take a little bit of points off, but everything else is phenomenal. So I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five stars. Yeah, let's start out with the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice um, Eye Cream. And this is a retinol alternative for appearance, for a reduced appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Now, I was excited to try this because again, um, sensitive dry skin, my under eyes especially, and I'm also blind. Like I cannot see anything past like 60 feet. And even 60 feet is pushing it. I would say like 20 feet. I am a blind girl. So if I'm not wearing my contacts or if I'm not wearing my glasses, I'm squinting. I am a squinter. So I was excited to try this because I was like, girl, I'm gonna immediately be able to tell the difference with this product if it does what it says it does. And it will obviously wasn't immediate. I think after like a couple days, I started to notice a little bit of a difference in my under eye, but oh my goodness, this is great. I'm not an under eye cream girl. Like I don't really use under eye creams, which I probably should, but this has definitely got me hooked. It just definitely doesn't have a smell. It's very hydrating. I will say it is a little bit thick for my liking. I would like it to be more of like the consistency of like the, um, um, the beauty of Jasan dewdrops just because like I don't know like because I'm so sensitive in my eyes too I have allergies <laughs> I think like heavy creams under my eyes it's not it's very like heavy on my eyes specifically so this is a little heavier than I would like like I would love it to be like a water consistency but that's definitely more specific to me but still I love it so again I'm gonna give this one a five a 4.5 out of five stars because it's very hydrating it definitely diminished a lot of my um, um, fine lines and wrinkles in the inner corner of my eyes and yeah I'm not mad at it so 4.5 out of five stars <gasps> I kind of just smudged off my lip combo. Look. <laughs> Next up, we have another eye cream. I honestly didn't intend to buy this one. It's a squeeze tube bottle. Um, I'm just not the biggest fan of it because it's an eye cream and I bought it in addition to the other eye cream, which I didn't mean to. I actually meant to buy another moisturizer, but I think I saw this and then saw the Haru Haru and chose that and just forgot to get rid of this and forgot to get a moisturizer. But besides the point, this is an eye cream and it says it's for eye and face. So I, the first night I got all these products, I wanted to be fair and use all the new products. And I tried it as a moisturizer. It wasn't the best thing in the world. It, I know it's meant for eyes, but it says eyes and face, so I assumed maybe it was supposed to be like a night cream as well. But under the eyes, it didn't really do too much for me. Let me like put it on my hand again just to make sure. It is a little bit of a, actually I do, wait, hold on. 
I might, I still haven't used this as just an under eye cream to be fair. So I think I'm gonna use this as an under eye cream because on my hand when I just applied it, it's very like hydrating and it absorbed it very quickly into the skin. It's not too um, heavy at all. It's a lot um, less creamy and a lot less heavy than the Haru Haru which i love so i don't know i think this literally just changed my mind i'm gonna try this as an eye cream but i have a feeling this is gonna yeah this is this is this is kind of just changed my mind i'm gonna give it a five out of five stars and now finally for sunscreens let's first get this one out of the way girl this one right here i was so excited to buy because it was all over my amazon page when i was looking for korean skincare it has a white cast of a century and it is so freaking drying guys let me let me show you guys i'll sh also show you guys up close it's very oil based i think that's what it is my skin just does not like it too much it, it just doesn't and on my hand like i used a very small amount but if you use the amount of sunscreen you're supposed to use it will leave a white cast and it also leaves a cast around my hairline which is not cute at all because i have like a lot of fine hairs in in the front of my um, hairline so it absorbs so terribly in my hairline okay this is a better example it's blue it's literally blue and that's on my hand so on my face it's not the greatest and it says mild airy finish so i was expecting it to be a little bit more not visible but it was definitely very visible so i'm gonna have to give this a three out of five stars because it gets the job done it has a little shaky thing in there so it makes it easy but and then i also like the the squeeze applicator um and i like the shape of it i like a lot of things about it but just the product itself i'm not a huge fan of so three out of five stars and finally we have another beauty of jason item this is probably their most viral item i've seen this thing everywhere girls it is the beauty of jason relief sun rice and probiotics spf 50 plus now this is great because you're supposed to use 50 plus i don't know why any company makes any sunscreen that's less than 50 because you're supposed to use at least 50 but i love that it's already like boom on deck 50 plus sunscreen um it also is extremely hydrating which in a sunscreen is rare it's very rare um the only one that i've seen that's hydrating that comes close to that i like a lot is the oh and this is so much more hydrating than the previous one oh my goodness like my hand like just the sound of it is so different it's crazy but um i love this thing so much it's so lightweight you don't even feel like you're wearing sunscreen a lot of these products are super lightweight you don't even feel like you're wearing anything except for the sunscreen before you're definitely wearing something but with this it absorbs so well into all of the products that you use it's very lightweight five out of five stars the girls were on something with this one and i do, actually i do wish it was a little bit bigger though because you're supposed to use a lot of sunscreen you're supposed to use two finger lengths so i do wish it was a little bit bigger because i'm probably gonna run out of this very very quickly it's probably gonna last me like a month longest but i still like it a lot a lot so i'll i'll give i'll keep it at the five out of five stars because i love it so much Alrighty, guys anyways it is the end of today's video um i have tried and reviewed all of my korean skincare this is the final result of me after doing my skincare routine fresh faced with only these products on my face as you can see i'm glowing i did not forget girlies let's go ahead and get into who I'm gonna give my deep bronzy drops to. Let's go ahead and head over to lovely Instagrams. So what I'm gonna do is one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000 until 5,000. That way it can be as random as possible and I'll check to see if they commented or sent me a message about the deep bronzy drops. And if they didn't, then I'll go and do it again. Let's start, I'm all the way at the top of my following list. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. I'm just seeing if she sent me a message. Sila Brown. Okay, so Sela Brown is who I landed on. So that's who's gonna get the bronzy drops. I'm gonna message her right now. Now we have the giveaway winner. Stay tuned for more future giveaways because girl, we're growing so fast. I'm so happy. Like, 
oh i literally love you guys so much but um i don't want to be one of those youtubers that just acts like nothing is happening when they start growing so i have plans to do a lot more giveaways especially when i hit like 50k when i hit those big milestones 100k uh 500k a mil i'm gonna do bigger and bigger giveaways so just stay tuned and yeah stay following me i still make really good content i have a lot more content on the way for you guys so yes anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video it has been tima and i will see you on another video soon bye guys